Paper Towns, the cast, you guys yeah, yeah, stay yeah. closely connected. Um, during that press tour, your co-star, Kara, she got some like really weird interactions with the press. Oh, you saw yeah, that, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. How would you consult someone who went through that? Like, how would you have handled that? I mean, honestly, I think she handled it really well. I think they were... I think they even made some joke about her being on her period or something. It was really, vicious. really obnoxious. And also to do, you know, just that question. It was really interesting because I never got asked the question, oh, did you read the book? You know, that, that the movie's based off. But she would get asked it every time. Um, which obviously, it's, I, you know, I think it's because she's a woman and also because she's a famous model, people assume that she would. But she's really bright. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so it's really offensive. Um, I was, yeah, that was kind of... That was kind of disturbing. So, if, and it was it, disturbing in general. Like we, when we were doing um, press and all that stuff, the way that people treated her on the, the street and the, the energy that was coming after her was like, um, it was creepy. It was a lot of creepy sort of like, um, you know, paparazzi and this and people who just wanted to sort of take a bite out of her all the time. And it's and I think because people get more attention when they say something mean mm, or they mm -hmm. twist the knife. You know, if absolutely. They get they get the attention and. Um, I guess I would consult somebody's going through that just from watching it is that the less energy you give those people the better you just kind of keep focused and, and you know the majority of people that come up to talk you know are nice and, and right. kind but those people do get the attention because they're and look that interview blew up online yeah know? let's talk about an IRL situation would you rather smoke weed with Logan Lerman in real life, in real life IRL would you rather smoke weed with Logan Lerman Done it. We know this, <laughs> or get high with Craig. My character? Yeah, yeah. Like, who would be a better time, you think? If you could only do it for the last time in your life. Well, I said in, in, in my method acting preparation, I had to I had to smoke weed leading up to the shooting of it. You know what I mean? Just to, because yeah. I had never tried the marijuana stuff before. And <laughs> it seemed really terrifying, so uh -huh. I just had to put one foot in the door. Um, no, I would say that I, smoking weed with Logan was a really formative experience because mm -hmm. I was like 17 or 18. Um, now smoking weed has turned weed has turned on me a little bit. It's like when I smoke, I get a little anxious, and yeah. I, I used to love it, and now I'm, I'm not really that into it anymore. I mean, I thought that it was kind of normal to smoke weed out of an apple because he was doing it. Um, if you're like and really <laughs> broke and you don't want your parents to find your pipe, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think it I think we may I think he may have he may have rolled a joint at a certain point, but the apple thing I thought um, I don't know it was just re it was really high school, and I also it remember was. we put a towel under the bathroom door so then the smoke wouldn't go into the you know into the other people's hotel rooms and Hot stuff. Boxing. And like Liana's mom was on the the actress's mom was on was like in the hotel staying at the hotel too, so we all just like sneak by like eyes red so high being like, and her mom would be like, hi guys, like what's going on? We'd be like, hi, uh, just going back to the hotel, just learning our lines. Like, so, you know, like a kid that's high, just like, like seeing like five of her mom, just like, oh and I'm like, God. she doesn't know. I'm just like, have like oatmeal raisin cookies. And like, oh my God. <laughs> I, get back, I get back and I'm like, she had no idea. Liana's like, my mom is freaking out because you guys are high as balls. Like, just. Then I did this other movie right after called Palo Alto, which is like still one of my favorite experiences making a movie. And I was like, the, the with the lead guy, I was like, yeah, yeah, I just, we just started smoking weed. I'm like, you know what, maybe we can, you know, we just rapped, like, maybe we can smoke a joint at the thing. And we're smoking by the trail, we'd rap, we're smoking by the trailers, and we're like getting in the car, and they're like, uh, Nap, oh, we totally forgot, we have to film this other scene really quick. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And so then they like take us into this car and like I'm dry and you, and you see the scene in the movie. I'm just like completely zonked. Like it's like Oh my know. gosh. So, so then I've never done that again, but that was like a horrifying. Yeah, yeah. And that's what made the final cut, the take. It made the cut. We are coming back from a high school party or something, but you can see my responses are insanely delayed. I'm like what do you mean by that? <laughs> like after a long pause. That is so good. Yeah. So is that the only scene that we can find where you are high? That is the only scene. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I've never, I've never done it again. So with that, congratulations on the consultant. Please tell everyone why they should watch this show. I'm so proud of the show. It's like one of the things I've done where I, it, it's something that I would watch, you know, if I wasn't in it. Where sometimes you think it would be something, then you watch it and you're like, okay, this is kind of what it was supposed to be. But this is really destabilizing and uncomfortable and funny and satirical. And Christoph Waltz is amazing. And, uh, and uh, Brittany O'Grady is amazing. It's just like this wild office workplace uh, comedy, but then twisted on its head with some satanic 
vibe and yeah. 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 So you said all the buzzword. All, you said all the buzzwords. <laughs> Christoph Waltz, satanic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unconventional. Let's talk about. I didn't say unconventional. I was I, thinking unconventional. I, yeah. <laughs> In my head, you said unconventional, but it is unconventional. It's very unique.